Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to scrap Google search results using Google Apps Scripts. So I have opened a new Google Sheet and uh, open the script editor in uh, another tab. If you want to open script editor, go to tools and script editor, it will open here. And you can create a new script file. Just by go to file, new and script file and just name the function as a scrap Google and there are actually two ways where you can scrap using google apps script one is a custom search engine api and this is how it will looks uh, to extract with custom search engine api you have to enable the api in uh, google developer dashboard as well as you have to pass the api key and search engine id but we are not going to use this method because of this uh, custom search engine api will be depreciated within another couple of months so we are going with a URL fetch app method, it's like a scrapping. So let's see how it works. So now we are going to declare a variable called uh, search results. And here we are going to extract search results. We are going to extract the HTML source code of Google search results. So let's say I have entered something in the search title bar and this is how the UI looks but if you see the HTML it will look like this. This is how HTML structure will look like this. We are going to extract this HTML text and using a regular expression method we are going to get the title of search results. Let's see how to do that. We have to first use a method of URL fetch app and in the URL you have to pass this URL this entire URL but it is quite lengthy we no need to pass entire URL so we can just copy up to this one you have to pass this in a double quotation and we can ignore this EA uh, because we are going to pass the search query in the Q tag let's, let's copy this one plus and one more thing is if you are entering a single word then you can pass it here in the double quotation after q tag but if you are if your title so if your search query is more than two or three words then you have to use a method called encode URA component what that method will do means it will convert this entire things into this format google plus search plus query plus by google so we have to use a method encode URI component and inside this method you have to give your search query let's say Amarinda's YouTube channel and close this one with a double quotation and end the line with semicolon now we have to define a regular expression to take out only the title of uh, the search results so if if you see this uh, if you see the results of search results variable it looks quite messy so it scrapped the entire HTML structure but what we want is we want to only scrap the search results so let's identify the search results if you see that it starts with h3 class is equal to r and I end with h3 tag so all the search results will look like this so let me inspect this one it also starts with h3 tag and I end with h3 tag and it belongs to a class r so what we have to do is we have to define a regular expression that take out only the html structure of this portion alone this portion alone so let's see how to do that where title expression and here you have to pass the regular expression and this is the regular expression I'm going to use let me explain this in high level so first we are taking out h3 equal to h3 space class is equal to r and it closed at h3 is another h3 tag and what are the text which is present in between that it is going to match with that 
so this is uh, what this regular expression defined if you want to learn more about the regular expression you can just search it in Google and if you are a beginner regular expression will look little complex but once you start practicing in your script you will get up it will be easy for you so now let's define let's extract only this portion that is h3 class is equal to r for entire search results so we have to declare another variable let's name this variable as title results and we have to use this variable and we are going to get the text which is present inside this variable so we have to use a method called get context text and inside that method and after this what we have what we have to do is we need to match this with the regular expression title x so we have to use a method called match and this match method I accept one parameter where I have to pass a regular expression So this variable return an array type because we are using a match method. Let's see the results how it looks. So if you see that it starts with h3 equal to class h3 space class r and end with h3 and it did the same for all the search results. So the next step is to take out the title alone so what we need to do is uh, we have to create a regular expression that omit this one and it extract only the title so let's see how to do that so as I said this title results is written an array so we can use a for loop to remove everything and take out only the title of Google search results so we have to define another variable called where let's name this variable as actual title and we have because we are going to extract only the pure title of the search query so we have to use this one and as I said it returned array so we are going to extract by its index and here we need to do couple of things we need to as I said Sorry, the log was uh, not shown as I said we need to take out this portion that is a uh, h3 class is equal to r and a hrf for this portion and we are going to extract only the black letters so what we have to do is we have to take the regular expression up to this from here that is a uh, from h3 class is equal to r to google search and replace this with null string that is what we are going to do now so let me explain how this work so this replace method take out what are all the text which is present after h3 class and before the title tag and replace with null and uh, this one replace the reg special characters which is present in between that with null string so at the end we will get only the pure title of search results let me execute this one and see how it works yeah we can get the pure title here but before that we have another logger dot log so that shows the unwanted text so I just commented out now execute this and let's see the logs so now you can see that it extracted all the title for the given search query so this is how you can use google apps script to scrap google search results and 
you can find the source code given in the tight, uh, youtube uh, video description you can check that as well if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video bye bye